Hey, babe. Hello. We made it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been rushing around. Let's go inside. So this guy's is a 350 square meter, which is approximately 3,500 square foot house. It's six bedrooms, four full baths. It's not super old, as you can tell. And the guy that built it still lives here and he's an architect. So, and boy, they got some art, don't they? Yes. It's nice. Yeah. Very clean, mm -hmm. clean look to it. And the grounds here, by the way, are fabulous. So let's go. So this would be like your sitting room, dining room. Yeah. Kind of like living room. And you come in here, just like a breakfast nook, but with a functioning fireplace. Tons of great art. Man, they got all kinds of art. The ceilings look like they're about three meters, 10 feet, at least in this room, and into the kitchen. Kitchen's been updated more recently than this house was built for sure. Gosh, look at that stone. Yeah. I like it. The stone up here? Mm-hmm. By burner gas stove. I like gas. It. That's one of our non-negotiables when Oli and I are looking for a house. Right, babe? Yes. <laughs> kind of interesting. Full-size fridge. And of course, we'll get out to the back, but this is the back patio, backyard. It looks to be somewhere over a U.S. acre, maybe half of a Hectare, half of a hectare acre. So, leaving the kitchen. So here we come into the first full bath. You know, usually these these towel warmers are just white. I kind of like the chrome. Nice. Mom, nice pretty big shower. Yeah. Pretty, wow, really big shower. Hold on. We got to open this. No. Push. Ah. And now you know why Olivia is with me on every tour. <laughs> so I know how to open a door. It's a good size. That's what I love it. Yeah. Now that's... That's a big shower. Mm -hmm. I'll keep my comments to myself, but that's a good yes. size shower. All right. So out of the first. So this is what they're using as their master. Notice there's AC, which also functions as heat. And they also have radiant radiator, radiant heat in these rooms. And almost like a walk-in closet. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. And by the way, I just want to go back over here real quick. These windows, this is really nice. Really nice quality. I mean, there's, there's no uh, being chintzy, no being cheap on the build in this house. They just replaced all the windows within the last, what did the gentleman say? Two years, less than two years. Yeah, I think so. And they also put in a full solar system, which uh, got the house to the rating of A, which is the top energy efficient rating in Italy. So that's good. So architect, this is his office.
another full bath. Another big shower. Yeah, another big shower <laughs> with a pl You know what? And it has a place to actually stick stuff. Yeah. That you don't buy like a little rack or something. Gosh, it's these details that are, people miss. I hate not. I hate to have to put my bottle on the ground and. <laughs> then this will be another bedroom. And I don't think there's a lot to do here. Obviously, there's no water leakage and that kind of no. stuff. Um, if it was me, I'd, I'd, I would probably just spend a little money changing the fixtures, light fixtures and things to my taste. Yeah. And this is the hall closet. Okay. Oh, get ahead of you. and it's a door in here mm -hmm. that you can go outside. Okay. Thanks, babe. This one, so. So let's go see what's upstairs. So again, it's 3,500 square feet, more or less. It's actually probably more like 3,600. All those things are kind of approximate. We'll go straight into this bathroom with the tub and the shower. Oh, it's one like the red, huh? Yeah. Another bedroom. <clears throat> I'm going to sound like a broken recording. Another bedroom, because <laughs> this place has so many. Each bedroom is really nice and big. AC. Today is uh, middle of October, and it was about 70 degrees here today for the high. Very nice and very different than we were here in August one time. It was 40 three degrees centigrade, which is really closer to 107. You just have to have AC these days. It's global warming. What are your thoughts? Like a closet. Behind the glass? No, right here. Oh, this, yeah. Yeah, it's like they're using it as overflow. It's nice. Extra space. I got it. Oh, this is goes maybe to a uh, terrace. Oh. Because it has a slide down shutter and that was more storage. And another bedroom. It's smaller than the rest, but actually still, I mean, you could throw a queen in here for sure. All right, guys, so if you're not into a historic center, if you're not into living up on top uh, in one of these little hilltop towns, these are the kind of homes you'll find. And this one's in excellent condition. 350,000 euros is the asking price. I mean, what can we get where we came from in Austin, Texas? <laughs> I don't think even an apartment. Not even. Burnett Road, it was uh, two bedroom, two bath, it was 990,000 dollars in a like an apartment basically they call it a condo so yeah three hundred fifty thousand asking price six bedrooms four baths all right let's go take a look outside and see what we can find nice oh look even has uh video security the gate's awesome out front let's get out there As we're looking around the outside of this property, I wanted to have a quick educational moment with you guys regarding commissions to the brokers. In Italy, the buyer pays their agent. It's not all paid by the seller. Normally, it's a 3% commission, but if the house is very inexpensive, say under 100,000 euros, you'll probably end up negotiating a flat fee for your broker. And a good broker is worth their weight in gold. Find one that you're comfortable working with, that speaks your language, and they'll help you find just the perfect home for you in Italy.
Boy, super nice to have solar. Only an architect like this guy could make a chicken coop as nice as this one is. Well, that's about it for this house, guys. If you have questions for me, just general questions, bradsworld8 at gmail.com. And if you have questions about this particular property, write Claudia at claudia at alfanorealestate.com, and she'll take great care of you. And she speaks your language because she speaks five of them. Y'all have a great day and ciao.